Hi there and welcome back to the second video with the True Ballistics Chronograph. In the first one we went over all the features it has to offer, what it can do for you and why it is better than the competitors on the market. In this video I'm going to show it to you how you can use it as a standalone unit, what kind of information you can extract from it to give you better accuracy downrange. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing we gotta do is to set it up, of course, and that is very easy and simple with the True Ballistics Chronograph. Take it out of your box, just like this, put the box to the side. And as you could see in the first video, the cover over the True Ballistics Chronograph also acts as a stand, which is very easy and convenient. Simply pop it off, and with the thumb screw underneath, you can connect the screen to the base, just like this. Tighten the thumb wheel down, And you can put the chronograph straight next to your gun. Very easy, very simple, takes only a few seconds to set it up. Second way of mounting it is very easy. As you have this uh, quarter connection at the bottom, you can take, for instance, your uh, mounting plate from your tripod, screw this at the bottom of the True Ballistics chronograph, and with that mounting plate from your uh, tripod connected to the True Ballistics chronograph, you can now mount it to your tripod, set it up right next to your rifle in the uh, position you prefer. Now before you can start gathering information, you have to fill in some information into the True Ballistics chronograph. First of all, you can enter the set distances that you want the True Ballistics chronograph to pick up your projectile in flight. This is easily done by the menu uh, with the toggle buttons left and right, up and down, as you could see in the first video. Now I had some questions from people on that first video uh, asking me, uh, I've set a distance for instance at 100 yards but I'm shooting at a target at 50, it does still give me values for 100 yards, how can it track the pellet if it stops or the slug if it stops at 50 yards. Now the True Ballistics Chronograph gathers your information as far as it can. So from the muzzle, if for instance your target is at 50 but you have a set distance at 100, it gathers information from your muzzle to 50 meters or 50 yards. Therefore, it has a lot of data between 0 and 50. Take all those numbers and calculate a very accurate number for the set distances that you have entered into the chronograph. This is far more accurate than just your muzzle velocity and then uh, uh, a calculator calculating how much drag it has and how much it will lose and stuff like this. The way the True Ballistics Chronograph does it is much more accurate and therefore it can give you a very ca uh, accurate calculation for the leftover distances that they are there because it has so much data from the muzzle till your target you're shooting. Something people are confused about is that you don't have to uh, uh, connect it to a weather app or stuff like this so how can it know exactly what it does and if you move from location uh, the true BC or the BC you calculate here is not exactly the same but that is true for everything. Um, some uh, boxes have written a BC value on top of them but they maybe are taken in a different country, a different location, different altitude, different weather so the number might not suit for you 100%. Therefore, all those weather stations, sometimes they are miles out, they are on different altitudes, maybe the weather is completely different, two kilometers from my uh, position right here, and therefore also gives you a different BC value. The True Ballistics Chronograph captures it here at your location, right when you're shooting in these conditions, and therefore give you a real true BC. One more thing you still need to enter is your projectile weight, so the True Ballistics Chronograph can calculate the energy at the muzzle and at the set distances you have entered into the menu. Most likely you can find the projectile weight on the box of your ammunition. And with that data entered, there is one more important thing and this is to set up the True Ballistics Chronograph next to your rifle. The perfect setup next to your rifle is between 0 to 20 centimeters in reference of your barrel, which will be more or less jumped something like this. Therefore, it can calculate the most accurately your projectile in flight. If that is not possible, you can always go into the menu, change the distance or the offset of your barrel, and therefore the True Ballistics Chronograph knows it and can generate the correct numbers from your projectile in flight. And with that done, the next thing you gotta do is of course to aim the radar or the True Ballistics Chronograph exactly in line with your target or with your barrel. On top of the True Ballistics Chronograph, you have this small straw-like kind of thing, which actually act, acts as an aiming device, and therefore you can maneuver it and position it exactly to where your target is, and then you know your True Ballistics Chronograph is perfectly lined up with the target you're shooting at. 
And the last thing you want to do before you start shooting is to check your interference meter. Now the interference meter or the interference level can be toggled on and off in the menu, which is very easy to do. And it's displayed on your primary screen on the right side. It might be that your True Ballistics chronograph is picking up some interference from some other electronic equipment, maybe from some metal structures, or maybe some other radars on the range as well. So you want to keep that as low as possible. Also do uh, keep in mind, if you are in the range with several people using a True Ballistics chronograph, you need to be all on a different channel. Because two tr uh, True Ballistics chronographs, or any radar chronograph for that matter, on the same channel will max out each other in interference and therefore fail to read. So very important to make sure you're all on a different channel. And now with all that done, your True Ballistics Chronograph, all everything is entered into the menu. It is set up next to your rifle, aimed in the correct position, no interference, you're ready to capture some data. It may look long in my explanation to get everything set up and put in it maybe look some cumbersome, but if you're used to the True Ballistics Chronograph, it takes you maybe one or two minutes to set it up right next to your rifle, wherever you are, competition, right before hunting, on the bench, you name it. It is very simple, very easy to set up and very quickly. In this uh, tutorial or this example, we'll be using the beautiful FX King in the GRS stock 25 caliber, shooting some pellets at my backstop right over there. So let me set up the tripod to have the True Ballistics Chronograph in front of my bench. It gives me a little bit more room in order to maneuver my gun and sit in a comfortable position. All right, so let's take quick five shot, shot string, just to gather some information. Not gonna bore you with endlessly long shot strings as we're just here to gather a little bit of information so I can show you what kind of info you can take out of the True Ballistics Chronograph as a standalone unit. So we're shooting some 25 grain, 25 caliber JSB pellets. And let's do a quick five shot, shot string. That was five, pretty good consistency out of the FX King, as you can see. I'm just, just shooting quickly. If I let the regulator breathe, it will be much tighter. But let's see what kind of info we get out of the True Ballistics Chronograph. Right, so we took our five shots, and as you can see, 900 feet per second was the last shot we have taken, 900.5. Now the 0.1 uh, accuracy is something from the latest firmware. We have put it on the True Ballistics Chronograph to give you some more accurate readings. This is your primary screen reading your muzzle velocity and the velocity at set increments. You have put it into the uh, settings, of course. Now, next screen, when we push on the next button, it shows us our, on the right side, uh, left side, sorry. It shows you the feet per second, like on your primary screen. And on the right side, you can customize uh, into the menu, whatever you would like to have reading there. For instance, maybe meter per second like this one, or foot pounds of energy, just as you would want. But the most important screen to get some uh, data out of the True Ballistics Chronograph is the third screen, and that is your statistics. When we take a look at the statistics, you can see the five shots we have taken with an average of 897.7 feet per second a low of 894.5 and a high of 900. Standard deviation 2.15 and a spread of six. Super consistent out of the FX King we shot just now. And this is a value I would take any day out of any air gun, of course. But right below that, the most important numbers, of course, is your BC and your average BC. This is 0.036 for this one at this given location with the given weather shooting right now the 25 caliber, 25 grain JSB pellets. This number is very important as this is generated at your location, not with a weather app that connects to a weather station miles away from you. Maybe uh, different conditions, different altitude, giving you a slightly different number and throwing off your dope chart. So being able to have this very portable, as you can see, to take it with you, generate quickly before a competition or a hunt, that perfect true ballistic uh, coefficient for your rifle at your conditions is a uh, very valuable thing to be more accurate, of course. That's not only this, because that number you can also, of course, take out of it and enter it into your favorite uh, ballistic solver, like for instance, the one from Element Optics, and there generate your um, dope chart for do your rifle right before a competition. It takes only just a few minutes, as you could see, to set it up and get that number to fill in to your ballistic solvers. In the next video, we will pair it, of course, up to the FX Radar app, which will do everything for you, and you don't have to export anything, put nothing into other ballistic solvers. It will calculate everything for you, but that's for the next video. 
the FX Radar app, super awesome app, which can also give you a lot more advanced features like uh, custom profiles for different rifles. You will see it in the next video. It's really awesome. Something else that it's new to the latest firmware is that it saves your shot strings onto the device when you use it as a standalone unit. And later on with the FX Radar app, you can of course offload it to your phone and use it right there to create your dope charts and all kinds of the other cool information. So when we press here on view on the top of the screen, you can go into the shot uh, string you just shot with all the different shots you have taken going back and forward, up and down. Uh, you can delete some of them if you say maybe I had a flyer or that was a strange number. Take it out of there and then it will recalculate your ballistics coefficient and it takes it all into account to give you the most exact number. And that's actually it. Very valuable to get all of this information out of a standalone unit that you can set up in just a few minutes. Uh, fire a few shots and give you your true BC at your uh, location where you're shooting in your conditions and not with a weather app connected far away from you and giving you a little slightly different number. So the True Ballistics Chronograph by FX as a standalone unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very clear to you and make sure you stick around for the next one, of course, where we connect it to the FX Radar app. I hope to see you there. Bye.